some of these truths, but I thought it will be good to read it. You know, it's somebody, it's, it's not written by me, someone, I read this somewhere. He says, there's some things I've learned in life, it'll just take a few minutes. <clears throat> I've learned that certificates that hang on your wall do not make you a decent human being. It just shows how much education you got. That sometimes it's very hard to determine where to draw the line between being nice and not hurting people's feelings and at the same time standing up for what you believe. That's not easy, but it's something we have to learn. And the other thing is, you know, people who are very adamant about their particular position, no matter how thin you slice it, there are always two sides. Remember that. There's your side and there's another side that you don't see. No matter how much I care for people, there will always be some people who never care back. Just accept that as a fact of life. And remember this, it's a lot easier to react than it is to think and then decide what to do. So always think first. I've also learned that it takes many years to build up trust in somebody, but it only takes a few seconds to destroy it by something you do. And I've also learned that it's not what you have in your life, but who you have in your life that really matters. I've also learned that you cannot make someone love you but no one can stop you from loving them. And I've also learned that you can get by with your smartness for about 10 minutes, but after that you better know something if you want to help people. For 10 minutes, okay, you can talk a lot of rubbish. Um, it's, I've learned that it takes a long time to become the person that I really want to be. So don't get discouraged. <clears throat> I've learned that you must always leave your loved ones with loving words because that may be the last time you see them. You never know when the Lord will take them. I've also learned that you can still keep going for a long time even after you think that you can't go anymore. I've learned that we are responsible for what we do no matter how we feel about it. If you do the right thing, it's okay. I've learned that either you control your attitude or your attitude towards people controls you. And I've learned that the amount of money you have is a lousy way of thinking how important you are or how unimportant you are. And this is something good. You should never tell a child that its dreams are unlikely to be fulfilled. Let them dream. They may accomplish something that you may never accomplish. Your biological family won't always be there to help you. There are others in the church who will be closer to you than them. And no matter how much you are grieving over something, remember the world is not going to stop to wait for you to get over your grief. You've got to get over it. I've also learned that our background and our traditions and our circumstances may have influenced who we are, but we are responsible for what we become now. I've learned that two people can look at the same thing and see something completely different in it. And I've also learned that the background in which we live is not what is, is not all that is offered to us. We can change it. And no matter how fast or how far you go away, you can't outrun God. He'll still get you. And no matter how far away I've gone, he's always waiting to welcome me back. And I also learned that if you do the right thing for the wrong reason, it's still wrong. 
Love is not for me to keep, but to pass on to the next person I see. And finally, even if you live the most perfect life on earth, there'll always be somebody to find fault with you. So don't get discouraged. <laughs> Jesus walked this way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, it's a wonderful life that you've called us to. Help us to believe in it and to live that life where we are always, by grace, saved through faith. In Jesus' name, amen.